Hi everyone and welcome to the Peacefield Farm YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how I put some ROPS LED lights on my tractor. This is what the finished product looks like. This is a description of the light bar that I got from Amazon. This is the instructions that came with the light bar, which really isn't instructions at all. But I'm going to show you how I mounted some L channel onto my awning. Uh, and how I attached the light bar to that. I'm showing you this uh, hazard light here because I put this on about a year ago. And the way I did that was um, I have an awning on my tractor. So I attached, I bought one of these brackets at Menards. Um, and then attached uh, some pieces of L channel here to this side and the other side of where the uh, awning attaches to the ROPS. So this is the hazard light from the other side. I bolted the L channel onto those brackets because I don't weld. But it seems, uh, you know, it's been there for a year and it's pretty sturdy. Hasn't loosened up or anything, so it should be fine, I think. Anyway, you can see um, just under the bicycles there, you can see where one of the two arms comes out for the awning. Here's the other one. So those arms come out, and then there's bolts for the front of the awning there too. I attached a piece of that same L channel to go between the two arms for the awning, bolted that stuff up, and then attached the, the light bar to that. The light bar swivels, so there's some, right up here where my finger is, there's some swivel adjustments on there. So uh, you can turn it any direction you want, which is handy, and then uh, so that's what it's like from the front. The wiring for the bar light came with the kit. And uh, right here, red wire, black wire, I have them attached to the hot, not the hot, the positive and the negative um, on the battery. There's also a fuse right here. And a relay right here. So I just bolted that on to the place where uh, the bracket that holds the radiator and the cooling in place for the uh, transmission. Um, just attached it to a bolt right there. And then I ran it down. You can see the shiny black uh, coating there on some of the wire close closer to the floor. I zip tied it onto a couple of uh, hoses and uh, metal chunks that are attached to the tractor. Zip tied it wherever I could find a spot. You can see I went behind the black plastic cowling there. Tied up a little bit of extra material right there, right there and then uh, carried it up through this way so you can get your bearings here. Here's the uh, hydraulic connector here. Um, this cowling here had to come off. There's just two bolts, one on either side to take that off right about here. And then I cut a uh, three quarter inch hole through this plastic here and attached the switch right in here. And then went back down underneath the floor again. There it is. Right there. That's where it's coming up. Uh, you can see I got in the back of the tractor. I'm at the back of the tractor now. That black wire comes up and then I routed it up through the uh, plastic shroud thing on the ROPS. So it comes up through here. Other wire that you see here is for the hazard light that I showed you earlier. I had to make a connection right here. 
So I attached those and I used some heat shrink tubing on top of that and then I taped it on top of that so I know it'll be secure. And then the wire continues up here. And then I had to add some, uh, right here, yeah. I had to add some conduit, plastic conduit right here because I had to splice some wire in. The wire kit was not long enough to go all the way. So you can see the conduit there. And then I had another, had to do another splice right here and uh, couldn't get it into the conduit anymore. So I reverted back to the, this tubing that it came from, or came with it, sorry. And then over to the lights. Took a little while to do all that. Probably I spent uh, probably about eight hours on this project altogether. But let me show you what it's like uh, when those lights are turned on. So I just shut the lights off in the pole barn here. And you can maybe just barely make out the light bar up there. But I'm going to turn the switch on now. The switch is lighted, which is a nice feature too. But you can see the amount of light that I get off of this light bar here. Obviously the camera is very sensitive to light, but uh, I'll give you the difference here again. Off, on. So I'm sure that'll give me plenty of light for any outdoor work I need to do. Part of the reason I put this light bar on was was that I added this uh, grating here to protect the front of the tractor here from sticks and brush and whatever when I'm uh, grappling sticks and brush. So that's protected, but the headlights, which I will turn on now, the factory headlights. Yeah, you can see the factory headlights don't do much. So I'm going to turn the light bar lights back on. You can see what a difference that is. It's fantastic. Anyway, thanks for watching. That's all for now. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like my video. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. So this is what the, uh, <laughs> the, the, the extra light I added on the back, the hazard light. Um, I plow snow down the road from us a little bit, one of the neighbors. And so uh, I always felt a little bit Oh, vulnerable, I guess is the right word. Felt a little vulnerable out on that road. You can change the pattern of the lights on this thing, too. I think there's seven different light patterns you can use. So anyway, thanks for watching. December 23rd, 2020. This year is going out with a blizzard.